How can ChatGPT help you pitch for more marketing budget, help you increase your website conversions, and even analyze your ads? We're going to go through exact prompts you can use in your daily job and make sure you won't get any generic or disappointing replies from ChatGPT. These are the exact prompts I've been using in my daily job as a digital marketer, and they save me at least a few hours every single day. I'm also going to explain why exactly they work. There is tons of ways to squeeze the most out of ChatGPT for Excel or Google Sheets and just get rid of headaches with the formulas. I'll provide you with a large customer list. Company names are missing. What Excel function can be used to extract URLs from an email? No explanation, just the formula. It used to take me hours to clean up messy Excel or Google Sheets, but now ChatGPT can do the job for you. One thing to note, if you upload a list with more than a thousand rows, it can be a little bit too complicated for ChatGPT to process that, so it works best with smaller lists, ideally. Also, whenever dealing with Excel formulas, make sure to specify that you only need the formulas themselves. Otherwise, you'll get a super long and boring explanation on how each form is created. By the way, I've upgraded to ChatGPT4 as it has a voice assistant. And honestly, this has been a game changer because you no longer need to type your queries. Another Excel case. I'm going to upload a few Excel files with customer data. Combine this list into one and make sure to keep only these columns, first name, last name, company name, website, URL, and email. Mm, what a breeze. By the way, I've placed all of those ChatGPT prompts on a Notion page. Feel free to grab your copy by following the link in the description under this video. And one more. Write a step-by-step -step process to create a pivot pivot, pivot, table on Excel to categorize this imbalance based on spam, lead, and qualified lead for each month. Just write the formula, no explanation needed. As long as you know the function that you need, ChatGPT will pick the right formula for you. The next one. You can also ask ChatGPT to analyze your buyer persona. As the CMO of a B2B SaaS startup, you're conducting customer research and have interviewed three different customer segments. I'll provide the results of these interviews. Can you summarize the key pain points and main struggles of these segments in one sentence each and explain why they find our product useful? The key idea is not to ask ChatGPT to create buyer personas without understanding your business context. Instead, after you've gathered some data and conducted basic research yourself, you can ask the tool to act as an assistant and uh, just analyze your findings. Now let's ask ChatGPT to pitch for budget approval. You're a senior performance marketing manager and your main sales channel is Facebook ads. You realize that with the current monthly budget, you won't be reaching the sales target and you need to pitch a budget increase to your CMO. You work at a B2C startup that has recently closed the Series A round and is looking to close their Series B round soon. Provide five arguments to consider when pitching the budget increase to your boss, specifying the precise KPIs relevant to each point to just ensure she supports the budget raise. Don't worry, ChatGPT won't steal our jobs and it won't ask your boss for a budget increase directly, but it can give you some creative arguments you might not think of on your own. And the more details you share, like needing to raise the B round, the better it'll be able to help you. ChatGPT can also help you with email marketing KPIs. You are an experienced CRM and email marketer at Uber. Here are your email marketing KPIs for the next month, along with some estimates. Please suggest strategies to achieve a revenue goal of over 100,000 from email channel. Provide as many options as possible with clear calculations and justifications. Include a specific calculation detailing the necessary metrics at each stage to reach $100,000 in sales. It's actually a good idea to use real companies as examples. Even if you're a junior email marketer, you can say you're an experienced CRM professional at Uber. This will help ChatGPT view your calculations through the lens of a really, you know, highly data-driven company. And as you can see, we received detailed calculations, including the email list size that we need to achieve our target. This is just awesome. 
the tool can also help you visualize data the right way. Here is the Excel data on LinkedIn ads performance. Create a step-by-step -step process on how to visualize it on Excel. I'm reporting to Head of Performance Marketing. The main KPIs for you are click-through rates, conversions, and cost per conversion. Again, it won't visualize it for you correctly. Instead, it will give you the right directions so you do it yourself using, for example, Excel. Next one, analyzing competitors. The prompt you might want to try. I will analyze reviews from a competitor. Create a table summarizing a breakdown of both positive and negative sentiments. Include additional columns listing the key criteria mentioned in the reviews. And for each aspect, indicate the percentages of positive and negative sentiments. I used to spend at least 10 hours analyzing competitors, but now all it takes is just copy-pasting customer reviews and asking ChatGPT to analyze them for you. So it takes a maximum of 10 minutes, I guess. And ChatGPT can't predict the type of summary table you want to see. So for this kind of analysis, you need to visualize the table yourself kind of in your head first, and then ask ChatGPT to structure it accordingly. Want to analyze your content marketing performance, but not sure where to start? Analyze my video performance in the last 365 days. Which videos performed the best in terms of view to new subscriber gained ratio? So I ran this analysis for my own YouTube channel and I found it extremely useful to see which videos actually resulted in subscribers because the number of views didn't necessarily translate to a high conversion, well, a subscriber rate. So you can do the same with your blog content, for example, by analyzing your visitor numbers and the resulting demo conversions or sales. Just make sure to give ChatGPT precise KPIs to focus on. The next one. Analyzing too many content pieces or webinars can be, of course, super time consuming, especially if numbers are very similar for each of the webinars you've been running. So let's just dump all this webinar reporting data into ChatGPT and let the AI do the heavy lifting for you. Compare the statistics from the last two webinars we conducted and evaluate which one was more successful. Provide reasons to support your evaluation. As a result, we can see that webinar one was more successful. The key phrase here is to ask ChatGPT to provide specific reasons. I found that Google Ads prompts for ChatGPT aren't very successful, though there are so many of them on the internet. The problem is the lack of context. But for simple tasks such as identifying negative keywords, ChatGPT can actually be quite effective. You're an experienced PPC manager with 10 years of experience with Google Ads. You're preparing a Google search ad campaign about marketing courses in the UK. Our online marketing school is meant for from 18 to 25 year old professionals who want to start a new career or switch to a new one. Please suggest a list of specific negative keywords to add. Use all three types of keywords with the right markings for them. Prepare a ready list to be inserted into our campaign. No explanations needed. The reason it worked, giving a lot of context, also specifying keyword types and clearly specifying the output we want to see. Ever been in a situation where you have tons of UI or UX research data at hand, but you just can't make sense of it? That's where ChatGPT comes into the play. Use this data from our UX research and suggest top improvements we need to make on our website to increase conversions from visitor to a paid user. The next one. I haven't found ChatGPT to be useful for creating an entire email body, but when it comes to smaller email marketing tasks like crafting subject lines, it can be really, really effective. As an experienced CRM and email marketer with a decade of experience, here are the top email subject lines that received the highest open rates in the past six months for our online school offering IT courses. Please suggest 10 new subject line ideas based on these high-performing ones. Keep the subject lines under 50 characters. Use questions in the subject lines. As long as you give an extensive description of your target audience, expect more relevant results. Also, you want to attach some historical performance like the previous email subject lines, and in that case, you'll get more meaningful suggestions. I found ChatGPT to be extremely useful for assisting me with marketing and sales email sequences that I can later on launch on HubSpot. I need to create an email sequence consisting of five emails for the people who attended my webinar. The title of the webinar is How to create a redesign how to redesign a website from scratch from an agency. 
please provide five sequences for each one. Please create email subject line, outline of the content and call to action to consider to drive more sales. And here you go. Remember to start each request in a new chat. Otherwise, ChatGPT will take into account the context from your previous prompts and this will mess up all the answers. Moving on. Ever felt guilty about asking your busy designer for more help? Just reach out to ChatGPT and break the ice instead. Create a Slack message with a brief template for our designer for a LinkedIn Square image ad. Our designer is extremely overloaded, so make sure this message is polite and uh, state the urgency of the project. Make sure he prioritizes this work. Use simple language, please. No official words. With so many ChatGPT Chrome extensions, there is one I just can't live without, and that is YouTube Summary with ChatGPT. Let me show you just one amazing use case. Analyze this video script. What made it so successful? Create a script for a 60-second YouTube ad for our project management software based on this one, using the key elements of success. Make it stand out. Create five different versions. Now, I really like the stress-free project management narrative, and if I really had my own project management software, I would consider this one for our next ad for sure. As a marketer, when your boss insists on using a new channel like Google Ads or TikTok, even if you really doubt their effectiveness, just turn to ChatGPT for help in making a strong case. For example, you are an experienced PPC manager with 10 years of experience with Google Ads. You operate in a very niche B2B SaaS business and you need to decide if Google Ads is the right channel for your business based on this criteria and outline all of the criteria you have. Just like before, the more financial background you provide to ChatGPT, the more accurate and detailed the calculations and the results will be. In my case, ChatGPT actually recommended giving Google Ads a shot, but provided specific metrics to monitor closely to make sure that we're just not going to waste our budget. ChatGPT is amazing as an external consultant. So when you're trying to select a specific marketing toolkit and not sure which technical aspects to consider when making your decisions. For example, we're trying to use or to pick a new CMS for our startup. Which criteria do I need to take into account when making comparison myself? I really loved how ChatGPT went the extra mile and provided this clear table. In complex situations, like when I'm lost and I have no one to talk to, I use ChatGPT as my mentor. For example, I really struggled with making projections for our marketing budget because our business sales cycle is just too long and I wasn't sure how to factor in this factor in the ROI. So I asked ChatGPT for some guidance on this. Our sales cycle is quite long. It's about two months. How can we take it into account when making estimates on our ROI? Please give five different alternatives. And you can do the same in your unique and complex case when there's just no one to help you. Of course, take this advice with a pinch of salt as not all the answers might be highly useful, but I love how ChatGPT approaches problems from different viewpoints and really provides a 360 degree perspective. The AI magic can also give a helping hand uh, when it comes to your current campaign performance. So if you run a dozen of campaigns at the same time, analyzing their performance is just madness. I'm going to insert the weekly performance of our LinkedIn ads, including all key metrics such as impressions, clicks, click-through rates, number of leads, and conversion from lead to revenue closed. Given these insights, what conclusions can you draw and what recommendations can you offer? We are running out of marketing budget with my boss stating that we can only allocate a maximum of $2,000 next month. Yet we have a sales goal of 100,000. What strategies would you recommend to achieve this target? When you provide a specific list of metrics to be looked at and even outline some financial goals, it leads to a more meaningful outcome. And also it's just amazing that you can dump all your messy sheet and ChatGPT will do all the heavy lifting. ChatGPT can help you analyze your calculations. So before creating any paid campaigns, most likely you run some estimates, right? So let's just ask ChatGPT what he would think on your estimates. You are a head of performance marketing at a B2B SaaS company and you've got five years of experience with LinkedIn ads. 
I'm going to send you an extract of our Excel sheet with some estimates for the next month campaigns. Go through these calculations. Do you think they make sense? Give at least three suggestions where there is room for improvement. Now, the reason this one particular works you set a picture of what kind of skills ChatGPT needs to incorporate. Also, it's good to ask a specific number of suggestions you want to see. Thanks a lot for watching this till the very end. Make sure you like this video, you subscribe to this channel for more marketing, business and growth content. And if you found this video useful, send it over to your colleague to make their life easy as well. See you in the next one. Bye bye.